hindi pa natin na try yung mga air cooled na mga Harley Davidsons pero this one is really promising Welcome back guys This is your big boss and today we will be reviewing the Harley Davidsons 500 well, the Harley Davidson's 500 is 500cc liquid cooled Revolution X engine. So the blackout liquid cooled V twin engine is built to conquer the hot and heavy traffic of urban streets. So you can count on smooth response to the progressive throttle when you want to get through any hole that opens up in front of you. The Harley Davidson's 500 has ABS, an optional ABS. So ABS stands for Anti-Lock Braking System. So the sophisticated factory installed ABS gives you confidence in the saddle, knowing your bike's going to behave when you need it. The Harley Davidson's 500 also has a low seat height. The seat height is just 28 inches, and the frame and seat are narrow, which makes for an even easier reach. The advantages of a low seat also shine when the light turns green. It gives you a low center of gravity of foot of confidence when you're negotiating traffic, just rolling slow through a parking lot looking for a spot. And talking about the shocks, specially tuned shocks. So the Harley Davidson Street 500 specifically tuned and dialed in for the weight of the bike, the geometry of the frame, and the position of the rider. You'll experience a smooth ride and excellent handling when you encounter rough urban pavement. And lastly, the dark aggressive custom look. So the Street 500 sports an all black 2 into 1 exhaust. It's a black cast aluminum wheels, blacked out front end with a cafe inspired speed screen and a chrome medallion made of steel on the fuel tank. Now talking about the dimensions of the Harley Davidson's Street 500, it has a total length of 87.2 inches with a seat height of 25.7 inches. When laden, it means that when a rider is on the bike, its seat height is 25.7 inches. And when it's unladen, the seat height is 28. 3 inches. The ground clearance of the bike is 5.7 inches and the rake or the steering head is 32 degrees. So that is the, when you steer it can go up to 32 degrees. And the trail of the bike is 4.5 inches. The wheelbase is 59.8 inches. And about the tires, the front tires is 100 over 80, and the tires at the rear is 140 over 75. The fuel capacity of the Harley Davidson's Street 500 is 3.5 gallons, and its oil capacity with, with filter is 3.3 quarts. So the total weight of the bike as shipped is 492 pounds and its weight in running when you're already using it is 540 pounds talking about the performance of the Harley Davidson Street 500 its engine torque or the rounds per minute is 3750 its lean angle to the right can go up to 28.5 degrees and the lean angle on its left is also 28.5 degrees fuel economy testing method during estimated highway drive its fuel economy is 64 miles per gallon the chassis of the, of the bike its wheels in the front type it's a black seven spoke cast aluminum while its wheels in the rear type is a black also black seven spoke cast aluminum the brakes the caliper type brakes are two piston folded front and rear. About the electric system of the bike, 
its light. Indicator lamps are high beam, neutral, low oil pressure, turn signals, engine diagnostics, and the low fuel warning. The gauges 3.5 inch electronic speedometer with high beam, neutral, low oil pressure, turn signals, engine diagnostics, low fuel warning, a blade key ignition, and fork lock and blocking gas cap. The Street 500 is powered by the Revolution X powertrain with a liquid cooled 500cc V twin at its heart and a 6 speed transmission with a belt drive. The Street 500 shares the same platform as its big brother, the Street 750, with a low seat height, broad handlebar sweeper, teardrop gas tank, and single port fuel injection. Its engine produces 2,250 RPMs of torque. Nonetheless, it can still achieve an average of 27 kilometers per liter in mixed use. It rides on seven spoke cast aluminum wheels with a machined rim. It's brought to a quick stop by two piston floating calipers in the front and rear. Being part of the dark custom series, the street line is characterized by less chrome and more painted and matte black surfaces. There is also a broad range of aftermarket accessories also available. The Harley Davidson Street 500 is now available at home at all Harley Davidson showrooms at a price of 398,000 pesos. Grabe yung tunog niya. So that is the Harley Davidson Street 500 mga kabosing. So Ganda, ganda niya. Promise. Okay. So short ride lang ito, eh try natin. Davidson's iba yung tunog niya, iba yung vibrations niya, iba lahat so hindi pa natin na-try yung mga air-cooled na mga Harley Davidson's pero this one is really promising ganda niya you are riding a Harley Davidson pero eh, liquid-cooled 